What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon 3D. We're now on version 0.31.1. I don't know why there's always a point one extra, but anyway, we are heading back into the game and in true Ecruteague City, where last episode I failed to defeat Morty, and so we continued onwards to Olivine City, which wasn't exactly completed, but now it is, as well as a bunch of other stuff, which is why we're back in Ecruteague first off to enter this place, the Dance Theater. Oh, the music in here is awesome. I guess it's the old school music, but it's still really cool. So let's talk to Mr. Lad. If you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. Yes, so now the Kimono Girls have been put into the game. And so the HM First Surf is also in the game. Now we're going to go ahead and take on all the Kimono Girls here. As far as I remember, uh, these two should be us, es Espeon and Umbreon. And then all three of those over there are like the other three. So I think this one will be like Umbreon here. I don't know for certain, but... We're going to give it a try and see which ones are which, and then afterwards we're going to head back over to Olivine and probably start doing some uh, some surfing stuff. So I'm going to guess Umbreon for this one, and nope, okay, I was completely wrong on that. Hooray! Oh boy, at least they're only level 21, which means this shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but as far as I know, because I won't be able to do everything in this episode that is in this update, I will just go ahead and skim over everything that is in the update. So as I said first off, is that Ecrutik as well as Olivine have been completed now and the routes in between so the Moo Moo Milk sort of farm place that we went to last episode has also been completed with I believe the Mill Tank event so you can now do that. Um, also Cyanwood City is now in the game which is the city that I could never think of the name of I kept forgetting what the name of it was but it is Cyanwood and that is now in the game as well um, as Surfing and a couple of other HMs actually which are Strength and Fly so Fly is hopefully gonna be in the game. I know that the HM for it is, but I don't know if like Fly itself has been implemented, so we'll see and hopefully that is because, you know, I kind of want to go to Cyanwood and then fly back over to Ecruteague eventually um, so that we can do the whole little Morty because we skipped over Morty as you guys may not remember. Um, I basically couldn't kill him or faint him or whatever. His Gengar was just too strong and so we kind of failed at that, which also means that we're going to be needing a flying type eventually in this episode. Maybe we'll catch one, I'm not sure. So far we have three starters, um, well, they're second evolutions now, or they're stage one, I guess. Uh, Bayleaf, Croconaw, and Quilava, as well as Sudowoodo, named Ass Duff, because I guess I couldn't bother with getting a name for him, so I just spammed the first four letters on the keyboard. So here's our team. Uh, let's go ahead and put Croconaw up first because I believe this girl here will have a Flareon considering the other three, or the other two that we just battled had the uh, Vaporeon and Jolteon and then I guess I confused the side, but this one is definitely Flareon. Come on, please let me be right about something, Zuki. And, uh, thank you. That was good. That was, that was really great. I totally know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm gonna guess now Flareon's gonna be like the last one we battle, and it probably won't anyway, but... You know what, I guess I don't have much knowledge of Kimono Girls and stuff, and I don't know why Pokemon keep confusing themselves. I guess when I can, when it confuses me, it confuses itself too with Confuse Ray or something. I don't get how that works, I, I've never been paying attention to what's happening, but um, I think that's what it is. When it tries to confuse us, it confuses itself as well, which I don't get, but hey. I'm not here to, to, to help it out in its confusion. Is Zuki the name of one of the uh, Kiyoshi Warriors? You know, from Avatar, the, the last airbender, not James Cameron's one. I don't, was it Zuki? I think it was. So that's kind of cool that this one's named Zuki. And uh, the Kimono Girls are kind of like the Kiyoshi Warriors in some way. You know what? You're going to be Flareon and you're going to like it. And if you're not Flareon, I'm going to Naoko or Nao Naoko. No. Uh, that was a burp. Anyway, um... I don't know how to speak Japanese, so I don't know. Are you Naoko or Naoko? Yeah, you have Flareon! I was right about something. I don't know why I thought the original three would be grouped up and then the new two... New two? New, new three? That Pokemon. Anyway, I thought the Umbreon and Espeon would be grouped up, which I guess technically they are next to each other, but then I thought the other three would be grouped up as well, like next to each other, but apparently not. Flareon's off in his own corner, Umbreon and Espeon are next to each other, and then Vaporeon and Jolteon were off in the other corner, but... You know what? It don't matter! We took out Espeon, and the, well, actually Espeon's the only one left now, so I guess we're gonna be taking on Espeon soon. There you go! Naoko, Naoko, Kimono, girly. 
As I was saying though, um, Olivine City has been finished, so now you can actually do the whole little lighthouse event, uh, which will give you the super secret medicine, or actually give you the quest to go get the medicine, so after we do this, we're gonna head over to Olivine, check out the farm, and go up the lighthouse, I guess, because we have to go get the quest to get the medicine, then make our way to Cyanwood, hopefully Surf, because I know that Surf is awesome looking, I saw a little screenshot of it on Nils' Twitter, and it looks pretty cool, so I want to go and check that out, as far as this goes. Um, but, as I was saying, this won't, probably too much, or, I can't even say my words. There's probably too much in this update to actually complete in one episode, so I may have to split this one up into two, but I'm just trying to put this video out, uh, should be going up on Thursday, actually, the day I'm recording this, um, because I plan on putting out a different video today, but, uh, that has been delayed until tomorrow, which is my super secret collaboration video, which some of you may know about if you follow me on Twitter, but, uh, if you don't, then, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Can I not go down from here? Oh, there's the stairs. I don't know why I couldn't see those stairs, but... Um, that collaboration video will be going up tomorrow instead, so today we have this, and then maybe on Saturday or Sunday I'll be trying to put up another Pokemon 3D, uh, in which we finish up this sort of update. So anyway, this guy here is gonna give us HMO3, which is, of course, Surf, a move that lets your Pokemon swim across water, which is awesome, and we're gonna teach to, um, what is Croconaw's name? Maxwell. Now, if we actually head into the Pokemon Center, we will see Mr. Bill. How are you doing, my friend? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Ah, you've come at the right time. I've just finished adjustments on my friend hub. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My friend hub was developed to enable trades with your friends, but you can't send more than six Pokemon at once. If you did, the PC storing them would have to break down. Don't worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, the friend hub will be running at the Goldenrod City Center. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye-bye! Alright, Bill. See you later, buddy. Apparently, we have to stop and, and look at him leave, because I don't even know. I'm gonna heal up, and I will meet you all back in the route with the farm. And here we are in Route 39, the route with the cows and the... They're mill tanks, I guess. There's not really much to say about them. But now we should be able to enter this place with the toadstool and the old bald man. My mill tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of veeded berries and stuff. I guess there's no door to the barn, but the barn's right over here. And there should be two little girls and a cow. Two girls, one cow. That's a new internet sensation coming soon to you. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of berries. I don't know exactly what berries we need, but if you have the berries that she needs, you can give her, give them to the cow itself here, I believe. Miltank, moo is cries weak. Give it a berry? Yes. I guess it's just normal berries. Oh, orange berries. Okay. And if you give it enough berries, then I guess they'll give you moo, moo milk or something like that. I don't know how many berries I have, but I'll give it as many as I have, and then maybe, you know, it'll, it'll work. Mill tank became quite healthy. I don't think I have any more. Oh, I guess I do. Okay, well, let's give it a... Oh, no, it has no berries. Okay. Well, I think if you give it, like, four or five berries, I don't know how many exactly, but you guys should know. Someone out there, uh, leave a comment because I'm a noob at this. But if you give it enough berries, um, I think they give you moo-moo milk or something along those lines. I apparently suck at this, and here's a trainer. And three trainers later, here we are. That was the old man that we battled earlier, and that was the lady that we battled earlier. And I don't think you battle us, do you, lady? Thankfully, she doesn't, but, um... As I'm actually doing this, I read a couple of more features, which is strafing in third person. Look at that, you kind of go through your Pokémon, which is weird, but... I still like it. You know, you can strafe, like, go side to side instead of... Like, you know, having to turn like that and then walk forward, or however it used to work. Yeah, now you sort of just walk sideways, which is pretty dang cool, but... Anyway, um... As I read that, I also read that Fly, Strength, and Surf are actually usable uh, outside of battle as well in the overworld, so I guess those have been implemented into the game, and this is pretty cool. I don't know why I kind of like this. You know, you can walk without having to change your perspective, which is pretty awesome because now you get to see the front of your character in third person, which is really cool as well as see sort of your... your, uh, your little Pokémon in the back. I totally forgot my trail of thought. Hey, look! We're at the gym! And there's our rival. You again, there's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. 
Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't supposed to be... Duh. She's taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it may make you a bit less weak. Ooh, tough guy, Ginger, Silver, whatever your name is. No one cares about you. Uh, I suppose it is kind of weird, though, that you have to... Now, like, if you want to walk just forward and look forward, you have to switch with the mouse, which, uh, usually I just like to use one hand. So I'm gonna switch back over to first person because, you know, in this version, or in first person, you don't have to use your second hand with the mouse or whatever. But anyway, um, as I said, we're gonna be going up the lighthouse, which is probably gonna take us a while. So I'm gonna heal up first, and I will meet you after defeating all the trainers because that's the way I roll. So here we are in the lighthouse where hopefully we'll make it through here. I actually took out most of the trainers already, but there might be a couple that I didn't. So hopefully, you know, we can get through those without having to battle them. Because that only took about an hour or two complete without, or, you know, after battling all the trainers or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, whenever I don't have a speed up button, I just, I'm not used to it anymore, man. Playing all these Pokemon hacks like Ash Gray and stuff and... Even just normal playthroughs where I can speed up, it's just like, man, I wish I had a speed up button in Pokemon 3D. Maybe someday, but I don't know, I don't think so. As far as, you know, a genuine Pokemon experience, there shouldn't really be a speed up button. So this guy here, you can avoid by just, you know, doing what I just did, which, uh, I never battled him, so I'm glad that I remembered that he was there. But, um, yeah, it's just like battling all these trainers in slow motion, or it's not even slow motion, it's just like the normal speed. Having that speed up button for so long just makes it a lot slower than it actually is, or it makes it feel slower. But, um, anyway, as you know, the lighthouse has a little bit of a puzzle to it, and that is going down this hole here in order to reach this stairs. Uh, this guy here, for some reason, when you fall through, he doesn't battle you unless you talk to him or, you know, move back to his tile, which is what I did on accident, but still, you know, you can avoid battling him. And this one here, you can just avoid by walking past him, though hopefully he doesn't spot me from all the way over there. I'm just going to wait just in case, because I know that he moves away from you. So, uh, anytime now, sailor. Come on, buddy, just, just go, there we go. Go ahead and look away, and now we can make it past him, and up to the final floor where we already have Jasmine awaiting with her little Ampharos. Actually, that's a pretty big Ampharos. These always look like toadstools to me. I guess they're supposed to be ju just stools, not toadstools, but anyway, here's Jasmine. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood City, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphia attended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Oh, poor little Amphia is so sick. Palu Palu! Its breathing is terribly labored. Palu Palu, isn't that what the... This, like, big dragon in Wind Waker does? Or is it Baloo? Or something like that? I think it is Baloo the dragon. It makes, like, that sound. I don't know why, that kind of reminded me of it. And Ampharos kind of looks like it, doesn't it? With like the big, well not really a hook tail, but you know, it has a distinct tail. Anyway, that is it for the lighthouse. I just kind of wanted to show off the way that that looks on the interior. And I battled all the trainers, you know, off screen. So the next step that we need to take in order to get to Cyanwood is obtaining Surf itself, which should be in here. One of these two men, I think you. Is it you? I hope it's you. Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit the Gold Vine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Okay, I guess it's not you. Is it you? I really hope it's you. Your Pokemon sure look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move molders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. Okay, I was completely opposite. We already got Surf from the Kimono Girls. I don't know why I thought you had Surf, but he does have a TM, which is Strength, or HM rather. And uh, one more thing to mention is that Rock Smash is now actually obtainable um, because I know that in the last episode, I don't think I showed that on screen, but I know that I went to go get Rock Smash from the one dude that always gives you Rock Smash and he didn't have it, so that is in it now. And now that we have Surf, we can actually go set sail on a grand adventure of surfing and I don't think these girls battle you, I hope not. Do you battle? No you don't, okay, thank you. I came to Old Divine to do something, something, something. I think this is eventually a trainer tower. I know in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it's the Battle Frontier or whatever it's called, but yeah, here it's the Pokemon Tower, I think. And these are Rock Smash rocks, which I guess you can break if you have Rock Smash, but I don't. And for some reason, I'm seeing really choppy frames in this route. It went down to 30 from like, actually, it's going down even lower to like 15 sometimes. Oh, that's weird. Huh. 
It might be the water, it might be something else, I really can't tell. But we are gonna go ahead and surf onto the ocean. How do we even do this? Don't tell me we need Morty's badge. Oh no. No! No!